What's up, people of YouTube? I'm Karsatowski, and welcome back to the Karsatowski Games YouTube channel. So, we have our third match of the Wii Sports Bowling Winter Spring Tournament. And to recap of our top eight, we had Dewey and Jenna Kate in our first match. Dewey moves on with a 663 series to a 635 over Jenna Kate. And Chong misses out barely with a 651 to Dawson's 670. So let's get into our third match of the top eight of the bowling tournament. Our first bowler of our third match. He's got purple glasses, dreadlocks, a beard and a mustache. It is Spank Your Dough. So Spank Your Dough bowled a 594 series last time, almost a 600 series. And it looks like he's going to go hard and straight for this match. And he goes a tad high and leaves a 4-7-10. And he goes for count, gets the 4-7. Our second bowler of the third match, he's got big eyes, big nose, a small trim beard, and our only left-hander of the top eight, it is Angry Bob. Angry Bob is our only left-hander to move on to our top eight this match. So if he finds a good look, then he may be just about unbeatable. And that is a perfect opening strike for Angry Bob. And Angry Bob shot a 646. So he's right around the 222 average. Well, he's just below a 220 average for the first three games of the tournament. Spank your dough goes just a little bit light. Picks up the four pin. Nice spare. Angry Bob misses the pocket, leaves the one, three, and six. And he chops the spare. So both bowlers start off with open frames in her first two frames. Spanker Doe gets his first strike in the match. Nice throw. Angry Bob gets a strike that time and trips out the 10 pin late. Spanker Doe trips out the 7 pin for a double. Angry Bob misses the pocket again, leaving a difficult split. Oh, and he gets everything except for the 3 pin. Spanker Doe trips the 7 pin late again for a turkey. Who an Angry Bob almost leaves another split. Spanker Doe has a very early lead in our first match, and he gets his fourth strike of the match in a row for a hand bone. So he has a really good look early on. He goes high for Brooklyn strike. Nice. Spanker Doe trips the seven pin again for a Yahtzee. Man, Spanker Doe has a really good look early on in our first match. It was a touch high, gets cracks open a six pack and trips the eight pin late. Angry Bob is in a pretty deep hole so far in this first game. So he's going to have to do a lot more of that the next two games to gain some ground. Spank Your Doe has not missed in six frames. Make it seven. Angry Bob gets his first double of the match. Spank Your Doe is in a really good spot in the lane right now. He's got eight strikes in a row of ten shots. 
And if he keeps this up, he's gonna basically make this a round. And that's nine in a row. Spank your dough's just putting on a clinic right now. Goes high, leaves a four pin, but that's fine. He will take game one with the commanding lead over Angry Bob. Angry Bob goes a touch high. And he doesn't even get to the pocket on that shot. A 268 to 181. 87 pin victory for Spanker Doe in game number one. That's going to be a whole... That's a literal hole for Angry Bob to climb out of for the next two games. So Spank Your Dough is in a really good position early on. An 87-pin victory in the first game nice. over Angry Bob. And Angry Bob's going to have to figure out a way to strike just like that. Spank your dough trips the 8-pin late for a double. Oh, and Angry Bob trips the 6-pin late for a double of his own. Goes a little bit high for Spank your dough, but trips out the 7-pin. Angry Bob matches him with the turkey and a perfect shot. I'll tend the pick. Opening pan bone for Spank Your Dough. It's gotta go. The whole man goes light and leaves a split. That's pretty much the last thing that Angry Bob needs to see right now. But at least he did convert the split. But spares really aren't going to help in this match that much, especially with Spanker Doe keep striking nonstop. He's only missed three shots within the first 17 frames. And we're pretty much halfway through this match already. And Spanker Doe's just lighting these lanes on fire right now. He gets that one far right, and that ends his run for potential perfect game in game number two. But he will still have a overwhelming lead even after that open frame. That gives... Well, that shot would have given accident... Well, that shot would have given Angry Bob a lot of breathing room, and he leaves an open frame of his own. This is pretty much a 100-pin match right now, and really all Spanker Doe has to do is just throw strikes like that, and he's going to win with about as much of victory as Dewey had in their first match. Dewey had a 128-pin victory over Jenna Kate in the first match, and it's looking like it may be somewhat similar to that in this match, if Angry Bob doesn't figure something out real soon. But even if Angry Bob strikes out in this game, he's still going to be down by a whole lot of pins. So even if Angry Bob happens to win this game, it will probably be within 20 or 30 pins, and he'll still be over 60 behind. But it doesn't even look like that's going to happen, because he just leaves another split. And it will be another open frame as he loses a pin and count. And as of right now, this is pretty much Spanker Doe's match to lose. He has only missed four shots in the first 21 frames of the first two games in our third match. That just about misses the pocket. 
Let's see if he can pick up this split. Oh, and he barely converts it. Barely taps the two pin for a split conversion. And he can go out in the 240s this game. So Spank Your Doe will increase his lead depending on how much Angry Bob gets. And Angry Bob just is not a deep hole right now. Like, he, I, I don't think he can come back from this. And he misses... He misses the same pin again. And it is a 242 to 176 in game number two. Angry Bob is trailing by 153 pins through two games. So I think in order for Angry Bob to win, he needs to shoot at least 300, and Spanker Doe needs to shoot 146. And the lowest game that Spanker Doe has shot has been a 242. So I honestly really don't see that happening right now. Spanker Doe is just making these lanes look stupid easy. And he's on his way to breaking the scoring record so far. The highest scoring total match that we've had so far in this tournament is a 702 for three games. A 234 average. And that's just a poorly executed shot by Angry Bob. Misses the split. So Spank Your Doe has a 510 pin total. That is a 255 average for two games. And Angry Bob doesn't even have a game over 200 for the first two games. And he is really not making that good of shots. And he bowled a really decent score in our top 16. He had a 646 series. But now, he may not even get to 550 in this series. And honestly, shots like that for Spanker Doe are fine. Because Spanker Doe honestly really doesn't need much right now. Like, honestly, Angry Bob is lucky to get over 550, and Spank Your Doe is at almost 600 through two games and four extra frames in the third game. So Spank Your Doe will win this third match of our top eight. And Spank Your Doe has really only missed seven times through two and a half games. Pretty much no matter what Angry Bob does, he's still going to be trailing by over 100 pins after this game is over. And from the looks of it, Spank Your Doe is just trying to break the scoring record for a tournament as Angry Bob gets a nice broken strike. Poorly executed shots from Angry Bob is not going to cut in this tournament. Spank Your Doe is making these lanes look stupid easy. And Angry Bob is just trying to get out of Spank Your Doe's way at this point. There's only two frames left for this total match. And this is going to be Spank Your Doe's lowest game, as well as more than likely... Angry Bob's lowest game, or probably the second lowest game. This will probably be Angry Bob's lowest game, as well as Spanker Doe's lowest game. 
And Angry Bob will not shoot a 200 game in this nice series. Nice throw. Yeah, that look looks superior in this tournament. Dawson took out Chong by 19 pins by doing that look after Chong made the right side look fairly easy with the exception of those six splits. And now Spank Your Dough is making hard and straight look like you can do it in your sleep. And Spank Your Dough will shoot a 205. Three games over 200. Angry Bob picks up that split. Finishing up here, possible 172. Make that a 170. It is a 205 to 170. And our third and final game of our third match. Well, our final results are in, folks. Spanker Doe has broken the scoring record for this tournament at a 715. That beats Dawson's high score for the tournament by 13 pins. And Angry Bob struggles in bowling the second lowest scoring series at the tournament at a 527. A 188 pin difference runaway for Spanker Doe. So Spank Your Dough will be in our second match of our final four coming up. So next time we will have a, our fourth and final match of our Wii Sports Bowling Tournament for the top eight. So if you guys would like to see that video, be sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel so that you will never miss any of my videos. I'm Karsatowski. Keep watching my content and I'll see you in the next video. See you guys.